All right, guys, I got my BoxyCharm pop-up order, so we are going to go through that. And then I also got my Blue Glam Rewards Points brushes, so I was going to show those to you guys as well. So we're going to go ahead and just start with the Blue Glam brushes. So excited for the pop-up stuff. I got some really good stuff. There was one thing I was hoping for. Oh, dang, I'm just going to cut on it. There was one thing I was hoping for, and then they were out by the time I had access, because I don't have early access, so I, I get access the next day after everybody else. Um, but, yeah, but I got it on Macari, so we're just waiting. That's on its way. I'm just waiting for it. Okay, so it came with this little, um, this little car. This may, maybe this ex explains why I got those extra brushes. I don't know. It says, hey, Glamour, your makeup kit just leveled up with an awesome free prize. Redemption never felt so good. Log into your dashboard and find out how to earn even more free makeup at lipglam.com rewards. Okay. Well, maybe that's not it. Okay. Anyways. And it doesn't come with cards or anything um, for your rewards. That's just for the collection. I don't know. I don't know why I got those um, two brushes that were not part of the collection for my collection brushes. But I used them today for my bronzer. I went a little crazy on the bronzer today, but I'm staying home, no big deal. And then I did kind of a different eye look. Yeah, but I love the brush. It's so soft and it applied the bronzer very well. All right, so this one I was really excited for. It is their Morphe Y22. It is part of their gold collection. I have a few other brushes from that collection and it's just a bullet point brush. I have a couple of these, but me love me some Morphe, so. If you guys haven't noticed, I think that's the brushes I have the most of is Morphe brushes. I'm trying to get it back in its little sleeve that they come in because I keep them in those so they stay nice and secure and safe until I'm ready to use them. And I'll probably wait to use these until because I mean I have these brushes, but um. Just not from what I'm not going not from this brand, so um, there we go. Um, I can wait to use these until I get ready with me next week. All right, and then the next one is the M507, it is a pointed mini blender brush, and this one I'm excited for because I needed a small, you know, pointed blender brush because of my mature hooded eyes. So that's what. That's what it looks like. Let me move my green light a little. Sorry, guys. See if that helps a little. Not really. Sorry. So that's what it looks like. It's going to be definitely right there. It can definitely be nice and small. I wonder if I turn off the ring light. Hold on. I know I need to have the ring light on. Ooh, way too dark. Okay. Under, sorry guys, I should have taken care of, oops, sorry, taken care of this a little bit better before. It's just putting on a glare. It's not like that close. Ooh, we don't want that color. That's a little better. Let's try that. We're going to try that light. But yeah, so I'm excited for that. <clears throat> I actually saw a better ring light the other day at Marshall's, and I don't know why I didn't pick it up. Mm going to be looking at getting a camera here in the next like well after holidays and stuff because we have starting this month we're so busy because we have you know October Violet's birthday the next month is Thanksgiving and then December is Christmas and my birthday and then we have New Year's and Valentine's Day so after all of that I'm gonna look into getting an actual camera for my videos um, a computer we just have a tablet we don't have a computer um, and then a better ring light so I'm sorry if my videos right now still kind of look crappy, but I am moving on up and I'm going to get better equipment and stuff once holidays are over for us. This is the M404. It's a small duo foundation brush. And I don't use a lot of brushes for foundation. I normally use sponge, but every so often I like to use a foundation brush. So I like to try new ones out. And this one looked really cool and it was free. So why not, right? So that's kind of cool. I'm sure it will like fly now a little bit more once you actually use it. But 
and it's got like that pointed in like that very soft bristles it's very loose so and it's small so we'll see how it works i mean if anything i can use it for something else but the shape of it's pretty interesting but like i said free right so why not try it if it's something that i'm not really interested in and it doesn't work at all for me i can either you know sell it or give it to the girls so all right so now into what this video really is about in the most exciting part and that is our pop-up stuff oh i forgot to grab violet's mascara violet got a mascara whatever right <laughs> it's the kush mascara and actually the packaging i wanted to show it to you guys she that came before this so weird but it did her mascara um and then Lillian has some, Lily has something in here, but I don't know why they would ship a mascara by itself. It's so weird sometimes how they do that. But, um, I mean, it's just, like I said, a mascara, but the packaging, as you all know, I'm a sucker for packaging, and it was really cool. So this is how it comes packaged. It doesn't last month. This is only my second month with add-ons. It's my, I think my fourth or fifth month fourth or fifth month with BoxyCharm, but I didn't do add-ons until last month. I never did it before, but they don't really come packaged other than wrapped in this stuff, so hopefully nothing broke. I'm not sure I like how they package. So, yeah. so it came packaged like that. So we're just going to dive on into all of these goodies. I am super excited for this. This was actually in the premium box for September. It is an ice roller by Kish, and it says, for your overworked sensitive skin, which I have, helps to de-puff and brighten the under eye area, calms inflammation and redness from breakouts, sunburns, and shaving, and my face sometimes gets pretty red. Today, it's not too bad. Temporarily contracts blood vessels to tighten pores, aids in firming skin and providing a more youthful complexion, and promotes healthy blood circulation, and lymphatic drainage helps to alleviate sore muscles, tension, and headaches. And I get headaches a lot. Um, so it's thoroughly cleanse and dry skin. Remove ice roller from freezer and allow it to sit for a few minutes. For additional benefits, apply your favorite serum or sheet mask. I have a um, rose quartz roller and I use that every morning and night. So I wanted to try this. Um, this was $8, I want to say. It doesn't have the, the price each year. I wish it did. Oh, it's kind of cold. Um, so it's not super cold. Um, and I don't want to roll it on my face because I have makeup on. But my idea was to use one strictly for morning and one strictly for night. So that's what it looks like. It's pretty big. Very doable. Very sturdy. So for $8, it's very definitely worth it. And then it's got like the aluminum and then you're just going to roll it so i'm super excited to try this um i'm not sure which one i'm going to use at night which one i'm going to use in the morning so i'm not sure when i'm going to start it i might start it tomorrow i don't know but i'm so excited for it all right the next item is by Brill brilliant dollar um beauty sorry and this was actually in the base boxes for box for September, but I didn't receive it. And like I said, I use sponges a lot more than brushes. So I wanted to try it out since I didn't receive it in my box. It says this charcoal infused beauty sponge provides a perfect application for any liquid foundation, concealer, and highlight. The density is perfect for dispensing a controlled amount of product onto the skin. This applicator applies smoothly for a filtered look without the filter. And that's what the packaging looks like. And it says it's vegan and it's charcoal infused. So that's what it looks like. I love their sign. It's a B dollar sign and B. That's pretty neat. Feels pretty bouncy. So we'll see what it's like when it's um, actually wet. It feels nice too, but I love sponges. So if you guys saw my... Uh, it wasn't a, what I bought, what I got, but I showed a few things that I got in my recent video, which I don't remember which one that was. I posted a few days ago. I posted my videos, I know. I post three times, three times a week. Let me scoot back just a little. 
There you go. That's a little better. Well, maybe it's not from that. Maybe it's the glue from my... Hold on. Maybe to fix it. Because I think it's the glare from my window there that's open. Anyways, um, trying to block that and then maybe it will be better. Anyways, yeah, so I showed that I got the, it was a set of sponges, the next gen sponges, and I love the one I've been using the last couple days. I use it every day. It's so bouncy. I love it. All right, the next theme is from Saturday Skin, and it is the Pore Clarifying Toner. And that's the packaging. There you go. And uh, let's see here. It says, this pore clarifying toner helps to smooth and refine your skin's appearance with an effective dose of 10% glycolic acid. The pore control complexion targets pore concerns with a blend of ingredients that help improve the look of balanced, clear skin. I got this for me and Violet. You know, with I, I'm older, I've got some pores. They're not as bad. They're a lot smaller than they used to be because I'm just the skincare junkie now. So I take really good care of my skin. A lot better than I used to a few years ago. Um, and then I got it for her too just because if I can get this open, we can look at it. Um, just because she's a teenager, she's got pores, she's got acne. So that is a huge bottle, super cute packaging. I love that packaging, it's glass, totally worth it. This I, this I know was 10 and then that sponge was six. Some of the stuff I do remember, but so super excited. We will definitely try this out tonight. We do a lot of like, like toner and that type of, type of stuff um, in the evening time with our skincare and then with my skincare and the girls. They're the same way we, um, do the like moisturizing in the mornings um certain serums sometimes i do but sometimes they do certain serums in the mornings that we do moisturizer we do cleanser um and the nighttime is like masks and any kind of like treatment stuff and then cleanser and serums and toners and stuff and then obviously like you want to explorate your face too so we do that twice a week all right and then the next one is the Biro New York Tomato Serum. Super excited to try this. It's nice packaging as well. Tomato Serum is a highly concentrated treatment serum. This hydrating formula visibly reduces the appearance of imperfections and improves the look of the skin texture for a soft, soothe, and clarified complexion. All right. Um, and I do know that they call this a tomato serum. However, I'm not sure why they advertise it as that, because if you look at the ingredients list, the tomato is towards the bottom. And when it's towards the bottom, that's less product. Whatever is up here on top is what the most percentage of the product is in, and as you close it to the bottom, it's not as much. So I'm not sure why it's advertised as tomato serum, but either way, I wanted to try it. Super cute packaging as well. Sorry, I'm trying to, there we go. Isn't that adorable? And this was $10. Super cute packaging. So this I'm definitely gonna be trying out tonight as well. I don't think I have a serum set, set um, aside for tonight. All right, just a couple more things. And then this is from First Aid Beauty. It is the Facial Radiance Pads. It helps ex exforiate, tone, and brighten. So this can be done in replacement of a toner. So these um, we'll try at some point. I'm not sure if we're gonna try that first or try this. But I do want to open it to kind of see what the pads may look like. Okay, it has a pull tab, and I don't want to pull that off until we're ready to use it because they are pads. Um, it's alcohol free, so that's nice. I like that. It says white pad across face, neck, and delicate once or twice daily after cleansing. So it's like another toner. All right, and then to go with our Dr. Brandt um, Dermabrasion, I think it was, it was called, that I got in my Ipsy last month, I got the Pores No More Pore Clarifying Cleanser. I love Dr. Brandt. I love that exforiator. Like, right after I use it, my face is so smooth and bright, and I just love it. It's, it's a great one. 
Um, it says Dr. Brandt, where is it? Okay, with solic acid, tea tree oil, and white willow bark. Hmm, so that's gonna be fun and interesting to try. Um, I'm still working on a cleanser right now, and I still have another cleanser that I got. Um, pretty sure I've shown it to you guys. It's the one from Kylie Jenner. So, all right, and then we have two more items, and we're done. I love So De, so de Janeiro, I think is how you say it. If I'm saying it wrong, I'm sorry. And I really hope I get their lip, their little lip balms that they have um, that's coming in this month's box. If I don't, I just might pick it up in the um, add-ons if they have that in add-ons. And then you know what? I won't be mad if I get it in my box as well. But I also want the Tarte Spray. So I'm hoping for at least one of those in my boxes. Um, I think what I'm going to do, if they have the Tarte Spray and the this brand's lip balm stuff, um, if they have that in add-ons, I'm just going to pick one up of each. And then if I get one or both of those, which I haven't seen a variation yet on any social media where you get both of them in your box, then I'll just have a backup of them, right? But I love these. So I haven't tried the Bum Bum Cream, but I had to pick it up. So we got the Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. I'm super excited to try these, especially for my hands. The other one that I picked up in the add-ons, I have tried, and it worked really nice for my hands. Oh my god, this smells delicious. That's what it looks like. Their shampoo and conditioner I got in my first box, obsessed. I need to pick that back up and buy it. It would make my hair so nice. And yes, I need to get this hair trimmed, which that's going to happen next week when I take the girls to get their hair dyed. I'm just going to go ahead and finish taking what's in that lid. Oh my God, I've been on these hands that are dry. Oh my God, it feels so good. And that smells amazing. I love the smell of their stuff. So I'm really excited and curious what the lip balms are going to smell like. So like I said, I'm really hoping they're at least in add-ons because if those and the tart spray is in the add-ons of just picking it up and like I said I got back up of both or back up of at least one of them if I get them in my box and the next one is the Coco Cabana cream and this is the one that I have had and it smells amazing too and it feels really nice but I never tried the bum bum cream but I heard it's really nice oh my god it smells so good mmm and then that's what it looks like so this is like a whitish kind of color and then the bum bum cream is almost looked like it was like a yellow color so and add-ons for this month starts next week on the 12th um early access starts on the 12th and then all access the 13th so i will have another box to share with you guys once um it opens up and i have access to it and i receive the box and then we also I haven't got notification that Ipsy or BoxyCharm has shipped yet, but once I get those, I'll be sharing those for you guys as well. I'm really excited for Ipsy. I think this month was a good month for me, and even the girls' bags. But that's it, guys. Um, thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think of these products, and if you've tried any of these products, what do you think of them? Don't forget to subscribe, hit the thumbs up, and make sure you have that bell notification on so you're, up, you're notified of every upload I have. And I will catch you later. Bye.